First and foremost, we designed the pit barrel to make great tasting food, but we knew it had to be simple and easy to use. Besides adjusting the air vent according to your elevation, which is approximate and does not have to be perfect, it's pretty much a set it and forget it cooker. But anytime you're cooking with charcoal, there will always be variables, and there are a few further adjustments you can make during your cook if for some reason you're having trouble getting or maintaining the right temperature. For hanging meat, you want to make sure that both rods are in place and the lid is secure. When you're grilling and you want to get a good sear, you want to increase the airflow by taking the rods out and cooking with the lid completely off. If for whatever reason your cooker is running too hot or cooking your food too fast, you may have started with too many coals in your chimney starter, or let your coals burn too long prior to closing the lid and beginning your cook. Another reason for high temperatures could be an unseated lid. Make sure your lid is secure. If on the other hand, your PVC is running too cool or taking too long to cook your food, try slightly offsetting the lid three quarters of an inch for around a half an hour. This should raise the temperature to the proper level. You can then reseat your lid and resume your cook. Cracking the lid also works when cooking in colder temperatures or if your PVC is loaded to capacity. Something else to keep in mind is that it's okay to check in on the food during the cook. It's part of the fun of cooking and seeing the food hanging in the pit barrel. If you're looking for a certain smoke flavor, one small handful of wood chips is all you need. Sprinkle them right onto the coals, right before you hang the meat, close the lid, and you're good to go. Remember, if you're having any issues, you can always refer to our detailed instructions and elevation guide to make sure your PVC is set up properly.